come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. Lucille Clifton. I'm still alive because I'm not afraid of what I already know wants to kill me. Because I'm a first generation, working class, queer, Samoan woman. Five chapters of a survivor story excavated from my bones. The reason your oppression doesn't know what to shoot first. I'm still alive because they C-sectioned me out of my mother's middle in spite of knowing my gender. They think that blood is the only thing a woman loses the moment she gives birth to a girl. My gender never belonged to itself. When it's raped, America does this funny thing where it tells me I was asking for it at the same time that it tells me to stay silent. The hemline of my skirt is an overactive jury that treats my body like a courtroom, that treats my voice box like a closet that they say I deserve to die in on the floorboards of my sins because I fell in love with a woman, made an altar of her body since no one else ever has. I'm still alive because everyone deserves to be treated like a holy offering, a sacred thing it is, y'all to find and know God in the last place homophobia would ever think to look. A back door into heaven after being put through hell for having the faith of a faggot. A dyke for a daughter. The names your community calls you in a language that isn't the one that they immigrated here with. I'm still alive because most days, y'all, I let the trauma write all of my poems because saying them out loud on a stage is the first steps towards getting help because I trust the microphone on a mic stand in a room full of strangers before I'll ever trust the police. This stage is both sanctuary and emergency room. My people are both griots and doctors and patients, you know, patients left in them, just stories with skin, too dark for sympathy because no one ever considers our pain an American tragedy. I'm still alive because I watch Oakland every fucking day pick itself up from its own concrete, scrub the blood out its cracks before the new neighbors arrive on blocks that their mortgage used to own, a white hipster's wet dream next to a BART station that Oscar's daughter will never have the stomach to take. I'm still alive because no one seems to see that there is no difference between Iraq and East Oakland, South Side Chicago and South Central, a battalion of young soldiers and the students in my poetry workshop, how no one has mornings like them. How they wake up in their own piss and grief to go to another friend's funeral more times than they even go to class. How the biggest fear for most of my friends is to raise a black child in a justice system of a joke that will continue to say taser when we kept saying gun. That will continue to cry acquittal when we kept crying murder. That will continue to sing God bless America when we kept saying God please. Have mercy on all of us. I'm still alive because in the past few years, we've lost Nelson Mandela, Amiri Baraka, Maya Angelou, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Yuri Kochiyama, Grace Lee Boggs, Afeni Shakur, Prince, Aretha Franklin, into Sake Shange. And upon learning of all of their passings, I hung my poetry at half mass. We, artists of the revolution, know that we are on borrowed time, using borrowed words, watching our leaders turn ancestor in our life. I am still alive, y'all, because whatever wants me dead does not know that you cannot kill somebody who is not afraid anymore, somebody who is ready to leave this place an ancestor somebody who is ready to give birth to the generation that will bring about the liberation I was always destined to make, but never meant to see. <laughs>